Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Uh, wow. Today is um, the day after the clocks um, fell back. So if you were looking for me, um, was that an hour ago? Or maybe in an hour. I get so confused with the whole clock thing. But I am here now and... Oh, dear Lord. Good morning, Eileen, and good morning, Sarah. I am having a day. Just going to go ahead and get that out there. I am having a day today. I'm actually having a week. Anybody else have been having a week? Like one of those, what in the heck is going on? And hey, where is my access to my information? Hey, Mildred, it's great to see you. You know, this week has been um, very entertaining for me. And you know, my personality really wanted to have a week where I knew what was going on. And when I asked a question that I got the answer that I wanted and whew, my week was not that. Yeah, we are all having, true, that it is true that we're all having a day and it's a great thing. And I just sort of mean that in that space of, okay, I'm going to be okay and I'm going to trust more that the information that comes in for me is going to be the very thing that you are going to need to hear. And it is definitely that kind of Sunday morning on Insta Live. So I have spent the week going, okay, so what am I going to talk about? So what about this? And how about this topic? And what about this thing? And the information that I just kept getting was, oh, you're going to share some stuff about yourself. And I don't know about you, but my personality was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to talk about that um, issue, that place where, you know, I thought I had some information and it wasn't that. And I, it's just a really long list today. And in fact, that is what I'm going to be talking about. The place where, where we have an idea of how things are going to go. I'm going to wake up this morning and I'm going to get these list of things done and how it doesn't always turn out that way, right? That, you know, you start moving in your day and you're like, wow, all those things I thought I was going to get done, I did not get done. And to be okay and to trust how that shows up. So, um... I do know that I'm going to be talking some about this book. I know sometimes the books appear weird when we do this on Instagram, but um, this is the book, The Kingdom uh, by Paul Selig. And this is the book that I'm in the process of creating a podcast around with a very dear friend of mine, um, Joan Bowers. And it's going to be amazing as it shows up but it is a great process of watching how you have some information drop in oh wow why do i keep seeing podcasts all over the place am i doing a podcast and the answer comes down is like yes and then you know who you're going to be doing it with but you've only listened to two podcasts in your life hmm why on earth would I be getting information about doing a podcast when I know nothing about doing podcasts? Well, just as a little bit of an aside, here I am doing Instagram Live, and I knew nothing about doing Insta Lives until I started doing them. And perhaps you see that showing up in your life as well, where you know, you have a knowingness and uh, awareness that this is what you're going to be doing next, but you have no idea the steps from start to finish, right? From the beginning of the project to the end of the project. And you're just going to step into a space of, okay, this is how it's going to show up. And I know I do have 
um, a number of friends who do this on a regular basis. They're like, I'm not exactly sure what is what is going to happen in this process, but I'm going to trust that I just keep stepping in the space that is next for me to step into. You know, I the technology that's involved in doing podcasts, I think I know something about it. I'm not 100% sure, but one of the awesome parts to being in the creative process is that people will show up in your life that are going to move you along, that are going to say, oh, I know how to do that. Or, oh yes, this is gonna, this works for me. Here, let me share my knowledge. And it's the place where we just trust that if this is what I'm doing next, this is how it's going to show up. That it is going to do one, two, three, four, right? One thing right after the other. And and when you don't trust, when you go into you go, okay, deep breath. And you remember that you can always ask for a healing, for help, for some assistance, some energetic assistance with whatever it is that is showing up for you. So as I sat down today to do the Insta Live, I was like, okay, I'm good. I got this. I know how to do this. And when I um, sat down to push the button, all of a sudden I was like, <gasps> and I could feel the fear showing up, right? The fe It was right here and it was so real. I, what, what am I doing? I'm not sure how I'm doing this. Okay. And all I did was put my hand on my chest and just kept saying, trust, 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 trust. And then I could feel, you know, me calming down and going, all right. And then right before I pushed the button, I was like, okay, I'm in my knowing, I am in trust. I am in my knowing, I am in trust. <sighs> okay. And then I start. You just start. And, and that process is happening in a number of places for all of us, right? It's not just me who is stepping into some new projects. We just had the new moon um, last Thursday. And so there are probably a bunch of us that are going, okay, now it's time to create something new. Maybe you're creating a new relationship. Maybe you want to transform the old relationships. I keep looking at the calendar and going, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I would love to transform some of my relationships. You know, I'm going to be spending the holidays with family, or is there anything that I want to transform there? Any of you have any of those kinds of relationships, those relationships where you're like, all right, I'm going to be spending Thanksgiving with Aunt Sally, and wow, does she really trigger me. Maybe you just want to create a new relationship in that way. How about that? That's a cool thing. So you don't have to necessarily be creating a big project like I am. You might be just wanting to change a few things. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's expanding the job that you have into a new place. Maybe it's the place where you just want to have some different opportunities show up for you. Did you know that you were that powerful, that you're that creative, that that is who you really are, that every day you create your world? Sometimes that just blows me away. Every day I create my world. Every day I wake up, I go, okay, what am I doing today? How am I going to speak out in the world? How am I going to show up? What am I doing to create the world anew? I love that. I like that I get the option to do that. I can always choose. Oh, Today's going to be one of those days. I think it was Friday. Friday was kind of rainy and miserable, and I was like, yes, 
Today is the day that I'm going to create where I'm just resting. I'm taking it easy, right? I made that choice. And even as I worked, I made sure that I was bringing in more understanding, more awareness of I'm chill today. I'm going to take it easy. I'm just going to go with the flow. Today is not a day that I'm going to get worked up. I got to get it done. I got to get it done. I'll do that tomorrow. You get to create your day every day how you want it. And you do get to create your relationships every day how you want them. And you get to create the relationships that you're not even engaged in all the time. How cool is that? So let's take a relative just for our practice, just for fun. That person that you might be spending the holidays with or the person that you really need to get a gift for and you're not really crazy about. Or maybe it's somebody that you work with, somebody that's in your neighborhood. Maybe it's just the guy who never picks up his trash can. I don't know. I don't know why that showed up. Maybe that somebody's going to relate to that. What can we do about those relationships? How can we transform them? Really? How can we transform them? Well, first of all, we can look at what annoys the crap out of us. That guy never picks up his trash can. What is up with that? Why can't he just pick up his trash can? Well, I might look at that and go, wow, what really bothers me about that? It bothers me that he's not paying attention. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Let me notice that he's not paying attention. Hmm. Since I have an awareness that everything that happens in my world happens so that I can see it anew, I can see it differently, where might I not, might not be picking up my trash can. Hmm. Where am I not picking up my trash? Where am I not having an awareness that I'm like leaving stuff behind, right? It doesn't have to be physical trash. There might be some energetic trash. It might not actually be trash that I put in the, in the trash can, but it just might be like residual crap. That I'm leaving around. Hmm. Well, I certainly do that on occasion. I walk into my house and I'm like, who left all this stuff out? Oh, <laughs> that would be me. I left it all out. Look at all the places where I'm leaving things around the house. Oh, well, yeah, I could do that. That might help my relationship where I'm annoyed with my neighbor who's constantly leaving their trash can out. Isn't that weird? Isn't it weird that my neighbor's trash can would annoy me and I could look at it like, how would that, how does that show up in me? Better yet, if it shows up in me, what does it matter if I clean up my stuff that it's going to affect my relationship with my neighbor? That's where it's all called energy. And it's that energy that we're constantly putting out, right? Well, if I start cleaning up my stuff and I don't feel like I'm leaving my stuff all over the place, maybe I won't notice so much about him. You know, there's this principle that is the quantum field is constantly reflecting back to me. It's constantly showing me what I am working on. Really? Is that how that works? Yep, absolutely. The quantum field, the, the world out here is constantly showing me what I'm working on. How is that for a cool thing? I think it's a really cool thing because then I can start operating in the world like everything is an opportunity for me to change something in me. Everything I see is an opportunity for me to go, oh, I hadn't noticed that about myself. Well, well, thank you for letting me know. 
How about that? Yeah, so as I'm moving through my day and I find a really angry driver on the road, I'm like, Ugh, yeah, I can get really angry sometimes. Yep, that could be me. Okay, well, I want to go ahead and work on that. Hey, God, can I have some help with that? God, can I have some help with the place where I get really angry or I get really short-tempered or I get impatient or I'm not paying attention to what's going on in my world? <laughs> hey, this is what you can do. Not only can you just ask for help and trust that it comes in, but you get to put your hands out. If this is you, if you're somebody who wants to have an awareness of it from this perspective, you get to put your hands out and you get to ask, hey, I would like some help with that anger that I have, with that impatience that I have, with that frustration, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. You don't have to do what I do. You don't have to say, okay, I would really like some more grace and I would really like some more love and I would really like some more inspiration. You can just ask for the help for what you need. Did you know that it doesn't matter if you don't call it the right thing? So you can put your hands out. You can also not put your hands out. But I would like some help in the place where I get a little impatient. I've gotten a little impatient recently. I want it now. <laughs> Why aren't the answers coming to me? And I'm gonna put some of that right here because that's where my hand wants to go. And I'm gonna put it, some of it right here because that's where my hand wants to go. Is that weird? Could be. I'm okay with being a little weird because I understand how energy works. And I understand that all of this stuff in our world, all of the things that piss, off, piss us off, scare us, worry us, make us overthink something is only something that is showing up so that I know it's there. And I'm going to take the perspective that I know it's there and I want to take care of it. I don't have to keep operating from that same place. I don't have to keep operating from a place of being really annoyed or frustrated or aggravated. I can choose something different. We all can. There's nothing special about me. We absolutely all can choose a different way of being. Like I said, every morning we get to create it anew. I lay in bed sometimes and I go, wow, yesterday was a doozy, man. There were some places where I would just went off the rails. I'd really like to not have that be the case today. As I turn my feet over and hit the, my feet hit the floor, I want to have an awareness of creating it differently. I kind of like that idea. I like being in, in the knowing that I can change it, that I can have it be something different that I'm not stuck in this little box that the world wants to put me in, that I want to put myself in. Here I am in my nice cozy box. I really love Instagram because the way my phone is, it's really short and narrow, and this is exactly how the world wants me to be, in my little box right here. That's what my box looks like. That's my box. Uh, this is where I'm going to stay. No, I want to be out here. I want to stretch. I want to grow. I want to change. I want to love. I want to be the fullest expression of who I'm here to be. You know, whatever that looks like. And that's what I want for everybody else. And you might be really content with you're the expression of you being somebody who stays home and is 
and is quiet and reads and studies and does all those kinds of things. And you, the fullest expression of you, might be somebody who's like, wow, you're like out there being crazy, right? And that's how I want you to be. The fullest expression of yourself. You totally get to be whoever you want to be. So as I'm talking to you, I'm seeing these red tennis shoes again. And every once in a while, those dang red tennis shoes show up in my awareness, which is the analogy for me of, wow, has to be like 15, 20 years ago, probably at least, when a whole bunch of my friends were buying um, Ked's red tennis shoes. Ked's red tennis shoes. And I was like, those are the coolest shoes ever. Oh my God, I want a pair of red, red Keds because everybody else had them. I wanted to be in style. 20 years ago, yeah, 20 years ago, I was 35 years old and I wanted to be like everybody else. So I bought a pair of red Keds. And I had those red Keds for a year and a half, maybe two years, and I wore them twice. Just twice. Because every time I put them on, I felt like everybody was staring at my feet. They absolutely were staring at my feet. Woo, look at Bonnie in her red shoes. And not in a good way. I was constantly going like, oh my God, everybody's looking at me. People are paying attention. And so, after a year and a half, I was cleaning out my closet and I had a rule that if I hadn't worn something in some period of time, I was going to get rid of them. And that's what I did. And in the last year or so, I keep seeing that place where I have the red tennis shoes that I just want to fit in where everybody else is. What is everybody else doing? What are they wearing? How are they showing up? And where in truth, I just want to be me, right? I just want to wear what I'm comfortable with. I want to have hair that I'm comfortable with. I want to be in the place that I am doing what's in alignment with what works for me. And every moment that I'm not, I want to be reminded that I don't have to be that, that I can be who I truly am, the fullest expression of who I'm here to be. You know, if I want to go gray hair, I'm going to go gray hair. I'm not sure if I'm going to rock it, but when I'm ready to do that, I want to be able to do that, whatever it is, however it shows up. And so I have gifts for everybody who listens to this and gifts for everybody who just has some inkling of this. And that gift is a gold orb. And that gold orb actually has a lot of healing in it, has a lot of... There's a lot of sparks coming out of it. There are um, sparks of gold. And the sparks of gold are um, the union frequency. And that union frequency is for us to remember that we are. We're magical. We're connected. We're all in alignment, whether we know it or not. There's also the blue, sapphire blue, that is coming out of that. And that sapphire blue is... So that we know we're enough exactly as we are. We are enough exactly as we are. If we wear, wear red tennis shoes and if we don't. And if we do everything in alignment with what everybody else is doing. Or whether we're that wild crazy person who is doing their own thing. I also see a lot of rose pink quartz coming out of that orb that rose pink quartz that's just about love so we can be more about love more about 
the awareness that we are all connected, that we're all one, that love really is the only truth. How freaking cool is that? And that gold orb, whether you ever pick it up or not, if your higher self wants that gold orb, yeah, it's going right in your throat. And it's going in your throat. So we have the opportunity, all of us, right? It's going in mind too. So we have the opportunity to speak more of our truth, to speak from a place of love. Going back to the holidays rocking around and, you know, us spending Thanksgiving with family members. And maybe we're not even spending, you know, a Thanksgiving with a whole bunch of people, but it's just, you know, our own intimate family. We want to be able to speak from a place of love, from a place of, oh, I know who you are. I know what you are. And I know how you serve. We want to speak from a place of love and truth and joy and fun and, yeah. A place of knowing who we are. Yeah, that place of I am magic, I am love, I am joy, I am freedom, freedom to be who I want to be. Wow, it's really cool. There's lots of gifts that have been coming in this whole time for each and every one of us, gifts of more knowing and more awareness and more love and more joy and more of that feeling of it's possible. It is entirely possible that everything I've said is exactly as it is. It's entirely possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Anyway, it is a gorgeous day here in South Florida. We always get really excited when the weather turns a little colder and it is like 60 degrees out and we're just resisting the urge to bundle up because we like to do that when the weather gets a little cold. But I absolutely hope you have an incredible incredible, fabulous, magical Sunday. And it just carries right on through the week for you. If there's anything I can do, if there's any way I can help, please feel free to send me a message. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Take care.